if you ever had to set up DNS resolution for private services behind a VPN, you know how much of a headache this can be. Keep on watching this video and I will show you how we can solve this elegantly with our console integration. The HashiCorp console and DNSimple integration automates the deployment of DNS records generated in console into your DNSimple account, so your organization can reduce outages and improve security. If you're ready to experience the HashiCorp console and DNSimple integration and streamline your network operations, give us a try for free for 30 days. If you've got more questions during this video, please get in touch at support at dnsimple.com. We are always here to help you. Hi, my name is Enrique from DN Simple, and on this channel, we share tutorials to help you automate your domain management using DN Simple. If you aren't subscribed to DN Simple, make sure to head over to our website to see how we can help you with your domain management. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications when we publish a new video. With that said, Let's go on with the video. HashiCorp Console is a service mesh that allows the discovery of services and secure communication of those services within the mesh. Console has built-in support for discovering services via DNS, but to make it work for public services, it requires provisioning DNS records in public authoritative name servers. This means that Console can find services that are registered within the mesh by a canonical name, like github.com. If you are in the mesh, querying against the mesh DNS servers, you're going to be able to obtain the results for the A records, for instance. But if you go outside of the mesh into the public domain, you will be unable to resolve that name because there will be no public authoritative name servers that will be able to resolve an IP address despite it being provisioned inside of console. This is where we at DN Simple come into play. Our console integration listens to events when a service gets registered within console deregistered or updated within console, and we provision or deprovision DNS records at DN Simple with a service IP address and some other metadata that you might have included in that event. This could help you to avoid outages due to DNS misconfiguration when the IP address of the underlying machine your service is running on changes. Today, I'm going to show you how our DN Simple console integration creates DNS records at DN Simple. We're going to be registering a service called Nginx demo running on port 80 inside a container. We will expect it to create a DNS record with a Pros at work domain name at DN Simple. Our definition has a few additions to it. We have a check that will ensure that the service is up and running and ready to receive data. Until the check is successful, no event should fire up and no DNS records should be created at DN Simple. Let's have a brief look at the service we will be running. It's part of a Docker Compose and contains a simple image of an Nginx demo and it's available on the local machine on port 3080. Let's have a look at the service and see what it actually does. This is the page we expect to see, except that instead of localhost, we should see it on prosat.work. So let's start by registering the service. We can do this by running the following command in the terminal. Heading over to the console, we can see the service has been registered, but as you can see, it's still red because the check has not passed yet. Let's wait a little bit for it to turn green. Now that the health check has passed, Let's look into the logs. We can see that the new record has been added, which only happened after the service was flagged as running and healthy by our check. Heading over to our DN Simple account, we can see that the record console demo pros at work we expected has been created. We can go a little further by doing a dig query for our services DNS record. All this is great, but can we actually access our service at console demo pros at work? It turns out we cannot access the service because the IP address of the service is private and cannot be resolved. We're going to go back to our service definition and amend it by adding an address. The address we're going to use is localhost because that is where the service is currently bound to. With the change made, let's register the service again. It's still green as there is no reason for it not to be. By updating the running service, we basically recreated the health check. Looking into the logs, we can see that something has changed. If we run our dig command, 
we can see that the IP address now points to localhost. This is obviously also reflected in the DNSimple UI. So now we're going to go ahead and load our services in the browser. There you go. As you can see, we're not using localhost, but the console demo pros at work domain. Pay attention to the time to live and caching. Even if you're tempted to use a low TTL, think twice as that offers redundancy in case a resolver is unable to reach out to us. To finish off, we're going to deregister the service. Let's do that in the terminal. When we check in the console console, we can see that the service is gone and we still see a message telling us that the service has been deregistered. And as expected in our zone at DN Simple, the records have disappeared. Just to confirm, let's run dig again and see what records we have. And as you can see, our local house record has disappeared. One more tip, the address attribute in console can also be a host name, but because we create A records in the DN Simple integration, we're expecting an IP address. A host name is not a valid A record. I hope our console integration has stirred up some inspiration in you and you give us a try. If so, you can head to dnsimple.com and sign up to one of our plans. We offer three main self-service plans for personal, professional, and business use. But we also offer enterprise and reseller solutions. If you're interested in those, please get in touch. Over to you. Comment below and let us know if you have any questions about anything I mentioned in this video or contact us at support at dnsimple.com. By the way, if you like this video, by all means, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe at DN Simple to start your automated domain management journey with us. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.